beautiful, cool morning this morning. It's an awesome morning to move bees. They're nicely tucked up in the boxes. Come across this colony, decorated like a general. Let's see what's going on here. We have 2017 queen that we mated. This is one of ours, coded to, I'm not sure where, that will show up in the records. We have two trait tracking cards on this, and unfortunately the marker had wiped off. So we were tracking something in this colony that was interesting. I now use tax. You know, tax can pull out, but tax don't wear off. So whatever is going on here was quite interesting. We have three years of brilliance. One, two, three. Those three blue tags means I've, I've been able to, it means they've assessed as boxes of bees three years in a row. And then a breeder tack. This is just kind of identified it as we wanted to breed from it. And obviously we did last year. Queen of Spades. So we will not be using this one as a breeder queen this year just because we have a lot of her sons up and flying through this year because we bred a bunch of nukes, right? Those nukes will be, those queens will be developing drones which will be of the same lineage of this queen and we don't want to take a graft from her and have her potentially meet with her mate with her sons. see there's another box full of bees so whatever's going on in this colony this is what we want in our nukes so I'm hoping that our nukes display the same brilliance as this colony has over the last well since 2017 but just like a retired general in in our military we will leave her decorated and show her some respect Here is a potential breeder that we identified. This one's been going since 14. So we had marked it and we marked it as a potential breeder. But as you can see, it's kind of blown out. Just a smattering of bees in there. So now that I found it and it's exhibiting a trait that I don't want, whatever's, it might not be their fault, but whatever's going on, there's a potential yeast infection in here. So if they can't handle such conditions, then we simply pull it away and it will not be used as a breeder. It's likely going to be shook out by the looks of the amount of bees in there and the condition of the colony. So we'll probably shake this one out anyways. But that's how we manage our breeders, as we continually work our hives, we continually assess our colonies in the yard, and when we find the traits, we identify it. And this one probably had a couple blue tags on there. And then when we uh, look for potential breeders, we mark them with the breeder tack. But if it shows something we don't like, pull them away. Get rid of them. There's two loads out this morning, and the sun come out, and pow, the bees are up in flight. So I was hoping to get another truckload loaded and backed in here before the bees took flight, but I could hardly open that door without the bees drifting out to the sunlight. So what I did, now I have space in here, back the truck into the, uh, the winter shed, and I'm going to load up another load of bees and then wait till about 5, 5.30 to when that sun starts, you know, getting low in the sky. 
maybe a little bit of cloud cover just to allow me to drive out to the next yard and keep setting out hives. Down to the one of the yards I set out last night. And this yard is busy. What a beautiful day, eight degrees. Wow. This is the ticket. Shit flying everywhere. Only something that makes a beekeeper happy. Well, that is a first for me. Weed whipping a spring yard as opposed to snow blowing a spring yard. Typically I come into here and with the snow blower or the, the bucket as I push the snow it clears the yard out quite nice. But this year there's no snow but a lot of grass. So I wanted to make myself a little bit of an open spot just to be able to set the bees into. And the entire time I'm thinking to myself, fire hazard. Mm. I guess trimming the grass is going to help a little bit with that. Can you believe it? Weed whipping a springtime yard. We are dry. Five o'clock and I'm working way at loading up the fives. Not overly big hives. I'm seeing him at the entrance, so that's a good thing. My colony weight is, well, for every stack, let's do the math here. So 32 pounds average for five frame nuke coming out. And they went in roughly 45 to 50 pounds. So let's say they went in heavy at 50. So that's 17 pounds consumption over winter. 18 pounds is rounded up to five, so that's three and a half pounds consumption per month. So that's roughly half of what my singles ate. Basically half of a single anyways. Very efficient. Definitely smaller colonies though. I don't see, it's hard to tell what I have here. But when they greet you in the entrance, when you load them up, that's a good sign.
And that is a wrap. Wow. To think a few days ago, I was just pondering the thought of moving hives out. That is 1,600 hives placed in their yards for the spring. To be honest, I haven't cracked a colony since I opened up in that last video. Let's just see what is going on here. These nukes, I expect these fives to be a little bit smaller. Just the way it is. I'm not going to do too much though because I'm tired. One, two, three and a half frames. Random assessment. One, two, three, four. Nice and healthy. Two, three and a half. Nothing wrong with that. Boy, oh boy. If we get a little bit of nice weather, I tell you. All right, one more. We would be so lucky to get nice weather this spring, would we? A little smaller. A little two-framer. box of bees. That's my girls. That one needs feed. They got stuff in there yet, but I'll be quick on them. There, I'll mark this for Gary. Box of bees. Box of bees. I well, might as well go through all four. Those three look good. Of bees. This pallet can use some honey. Ah, man. Whoops. Weighing them out, on average, they weighed a little heavier than that. That one needs feed. box of bees. That one's got weight to it, but... Well, I think I just made my mind up. These girls are getting pails tomorrow. The start of 15-hour days, and it just carries on.